Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to show you the prototype version of the TopSky Prime 2 FEV goggles. In this video I'm going to show you and point out the differences between the new version and the older one and then head outdoors and compare the built-in diversity receivers side by side. As I mentioned before, this is the prototype version which I've been testing for the last couple of weeks and the reason I want to show the prototype version is because currently Banggood are taking pre-orders and maybe this video is going to help you make your mind whether you want to get them or not. The final version should be released in about two weeks and I really hope that TopSky kept in mind my suggestions and of course once I'm going to get the final version I'm going to release a full review. Now let's go over the differences between the Prime 1S and the Prime 2. First of all, as you can see, the face padding is different. The Prime 1S is using this foam, which is not very durable. You can see it's already starting to fall apart and I barely use these goggles. And in addition, it's not very comfortable. The Prime 2, however, are using a much more comfortable material. So in my experience, these goggles are much more comfortable to wear, which is something very important. And in addition, now they're using this Velcro strap, so it's easier to attach and detach the face padding. In addition, now you're going to have much more space to fit your nose inside. So you can see over here we have plenty of room, even though I do hope that they could make it a little bit wider. And if we compare it to the older version, you can see that over here it's much more crowded. A small change has been applied to the memory card slot, so now it's easier to insert and extract the micro SD card. As you may know, the built-in diversity receiver of the Prime 1S didn't function correctly, and this receiver actually didn't work at all. So now on the Prime 2, TopSky solved this issue, and the diversity receiver is working much better. Finally, according to TopSky, the focal length of the Prime 2 has been increased by 10 millimeters, and the field of view has been decreased from 80 degrees to 76 degrees in order to reduce the eye strain. However, I can tell you that first of all, on my prototype version, the diopters are still not working properly. And I also compared the field of view, and as far as I can tell, my version has the same field of view of the Prime 1S. Having said that, you should keep in mind that this is a prototype version. However, anyway, 4 degrees is not a big difference. So if the eye strain on the Prime 1S was too high for you, probably it's not going to change with the Prime 2. And I really wish that they would have reduced it to around 65 or 60 degrees, because in my opinion, it would have been much better. I'm going to end this video with a side-by-side -side comparison of the recorded DVR. And just as a reference, I also compared it with the Immersion RC Rapid Fire Receiver. I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video, and as always, if you have any questions or features that you would like me to test on the new version once I'm going to get it, please let me know in the comment section down below. See you on my next videos, and goodbye.